Good morning, everybody. It is so good to see you all. Merry Christmas. We are glad you have taken the time to be here and worship with us today. We got something a little special going on today. It's the kids' show today. They get to run almost everything, and you just have to listen to me talk just for a little bit. And what I do want to announce, did we decide on potluck? We are having potluck at the, the first of the year, just like we normally would. Um, so that's coming up next Sunday, I believe. And it's just bring what you can and we'll, we'll feed everybody. And were there any other announcements I may have missed that, okay, Ashton's telling me we're good. But I just wanted to pre-let you know, it's okay that today is gonna be a day of some chaos. It's managed chaos, and it's all for the Lord. So just be prepared and be ready for maybe some nerves of the kids to, to kick in, and we just need to be as supportive as possible for them as they perform today. Um, I'm going to just ask if the praise team would start making their way forward, and will you stand with me as we open with a word of prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we... Thank you so much for the opportunity to, to be here together as your body to worship you. And it's, it's an even special day that um, Christmas falls on the day that we worship. To remember, Jesus, that you came into this world, that you became the sin sacrifice that we all needed, and that you rose from the grave victorious over sin and death. We thank you so much for that. I just pray that our worship today will be pleasing in your sight and that you will be here in our presence, Father. I pray and ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Two along with me, Bethlehem, though you, though you are, are still among, among the, the clans, clans of Judah, Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times.
16. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe who was lying in a manger. He was was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was was on him, and and by by his wounds we are are healed. healed. You may all be seated. Now, the Apostle Paul, he once declared in 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 56, Now I say this, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, 
nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable must put on the imperishable, and this mortal must put on immortality. But when this perishable will have put on imperishable, and this mortal will have put on immortality, then will come about the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We come to the time of communion, and this is such a valuable time. It's, it's really one of the most important aspects of our worship when we gather together as the body of Christ. And I bring this scripture to your attention today because each and every time we come together around the Lord's table, we as his followers are celebrating and declaring Jesus' victory in which he rose from the grave, giving us the validation and backing up each and every word that Paul just spoke here. That's the proof. Paul didn't just say these words in vain. Death, where is your sting? Death, where is your victory? Death doesn't have the victory because of Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. Without the victory of Christ's resurrection, none of these amazing promises would be available for us to embrace today. It's because of the resurrection of Christ that each and every person, regardless of the sin one has committed, all, we all now have the opportunity to choose to place our faith in Jesus. All have the option to embrace his forgiveness and grace by joining in his victory over sin and death. And what a wonderful Savior we have. A Savior who willingly took on all, this, all of our sins upon him past, present, and future in order to free us from such a state of slavery. I encourage you to take the time to truly reflect the implications of Paul's words for your own life. This is the time in which we get to do that, in which we remember what Jesus has done for us. This is the time as we partake of communion together that I encourage us all to remember that because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, his resurrection from the grave, all who embrace him as Lord are free from the sting of death. We are granted everlasting life in the kingdom of God. That's a victory worth remembering. That's what communion is all about. So will you please pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this time of communion, this time in which we get to come to your table in order to remember what you have done and that we are free from sin, from death, and because of you, Jesus, we have everlasting life. Just praise you and thank you so much for the victory we have in you. Just pray that you will be here, Father, Join us at your table as we partake of the emblems, the, the juice which represents your blood that was shed, the, the bread that represents your body that was freely given. Help us never forget that we are victorious through you. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen.
Caesar is up to his old tricks again. I have to admit, he is creative about collecting money. This time he wants everyone to come to their hometown to pay their taxes. Before you know it, Bethlehem will be filled with tourists and their animals. Russia will be twice as long, and pizza delivery will take forever. Clyde said, did you hear that? It's tourist season all over again. Do you know what that means? Leftovers. Easy for you to say that last year everyone wanted milkshakes. I lost 20 pounds in one week. What if this year they want hamburgers? <laughs> Everybody knows Spain, Bethlehem's famous for its swags. And where do those swags come from? Well, I know we one cheap and this second one goes so fast. Well, I like tourists. They're messy and they drop food all over the place. They're everything a mouse loves. I, I better hurry. Those tourists will be coming any time now. There's food all over the place. I better set out the mouse traps before we... Hey, what are you doing? That garbage was my dad. Did you see the size of that mouse trap? I'm thinking we don't want tourists here. Let's try to drive them out of Bethlehem. Amiga, up, I think we're too late. Look, everyone's already here. Now that we went here comes two more.
said the night wind to the little lamb. Do you see what I see? Way up in the sky, little lamb. Do you see what I see? A star, a star, shining in the night with a tail as big as a cup. the little lamb to the shepherd boy. Do you hear what I hear? Way up in the sky, shepherd boy. Do you hear what I hear? A song, a song, high above the trees with a voice as big.
is very special. This baby will change the world and let people have peace with God. This baby will die and for the wrongs of the world and then rise again. There has never been a baby like this one. I think I remember hearing about this baby, the Messiah, God's own son. Is the baby the Messiah? Yes, and God has waited a very long time for this night. Now in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that a census be taken of all the inhabited earth. This was the first census taken while Cornelius was governor of Syria, and everyone was on his way to register for the census, each to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David in order to register along with Mary, who was engaged to him and was with child. While they were there, the days were completed for her to give birth, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him, him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. In the same region, there were some shepherds say, staying out in the fields and keeping watch over the flocks by night, and an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in claws, lying in the manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds began singing to one another, or saying to one another, Let's go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger. When they had seen this, they made known the statement which had been told to them about this, this child. And all who heard it, in, it heard it wondered at the things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. The shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen just as had been told them.
Lord of all. 
wonder what his name is.
to die from your sins. He does care. He does love you. Did you hear that? Jesus did love me. After all, I mean, can you just said he still loved me? Even if I didn't believe you? Why? How? Jesus had to die because that was the only way everyone can have friendship with God. Dawson and Jasper for for helping out and being our sound crew and helping corral the children. So thank you all for your support. Have a Merry Christmas. Now before we get into prayers and praises, um, I have something that I want to point out. A lot of people were just thanks, but I think one person was forgotten in that and CJ if you wouldn't mind coming up here you might not know this but CJ day after day Sunday after Sunday put so much effort into to working with our kids she's the one down there during the service when they have children's time and CJ has done a lot for this church and for our, our kids and we really truly appreciate that so we wanted to say thank you Well, well before, before you go, we had a chili cook-off not too long ago, and we never got to give the winner her gift, so CJ was the winner also, and she gets this golden spoon pin, and you are to be the caretaker of that until next year, unless you can keep the crown. Yep, we're going to pass, this is the trophy that's going to get passed around to whoever wins the next time we do the chili cook-off, but you get to be in charge of it for a year. <laughs> also, um, Ashton is the one that did our background, so it was a good surprise. Yes. So thank you for that. And I just want to say thank you, kids. You guys did such a great job. I am so impressed, and if you can't walk away today not knowing that Jesus died for your sins, then you weren't listening because that's the truth. So were there any prayers or prayer concern or praises back there? 
nope. Does anybody have anything pressing on their mind that you need me to pray about right now? Yeah, yep, they're leaving. <laughs> so that's Grandma Stacy and Papa Rick. They're leaving after the service, and uh, it's super slick out there. So anybody, let's just pray for traveling <laughs> sakes right now for everybody. And especially, I know you guys going back to Lone Rock will be a little hairy. Hopefully it's warmed up a little bit more. Anything else? Nope, okay. I wanted to share this just real quick before we close with prayer. Um, this is from Ray and Rhonda that was sent to the church. And it says, Hepner Christian Church, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We miss you all and look forward to when we can worship with you in person again. That's from Ray and Rhonda. They just wanted to say Merry Christmas and they look forward to being able to be back here. As we know, Ray's um, doing ministry in Wilhelmina right now, so... And they made it there safely, I was told. It took about seven hours, but they did make it. I was a little worried for them on going that direction. All right, let's close with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much. We thank you for our, our children that are so willing and brave to, to stand up and just shout out your message to the world. Father, we thank you for that. There's a lot that can be learned when we listen to our kids and and we can learn a lot from their innocence. And we just praise you, God, for reminding of us of that today. But most importantly, we praise you so much for reminding us the truth of what Christmas is about. The fact that, Jesus, you came to this earth. God, fully God, fully man, took on flesh so that he could, you could die for our sins. And you did die, but you didn't stay dead. You rose from the grave, giving us salvation, grace, and mercy. We thank you so much. And Father, I just pray for everybody as the, we live this building today and anybody who's out traveling today, will your protective hands be upon them and get them safely to their destination. Father, we love you so much. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, we are dismissed. Have a very Merry Christmas.